ya Muruto nilimtoa kwa ba alikuwa mulevi nikamuuta nikamsaidia nikamfanya akakuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya Yo what's up what's up guys welcome back this all kinds entertainment and you're here with me Achisa Mumble and today guys we are we are still in politics this Gashagwa's impeachment is kind of a big deal i'm still on it i'm not done yet i'm not done yet so guys today i'm going to show you some you can call me whatever you want you can call me a religious zilta or you can call me a conspiracy theorist you can call me anything but these guys i'm going to show you this is so related i'm going to show you i titled the video how pastor evangelist ezekiel sorry how evangelist ezekiel uh -huh. is connected to the impeachment of <sighs> deputy president former we can now call him former because he's already impeached we can now call him former deputy president regadi gashagwa he's kind of connected guys and i'm a literal no like, like this is so excited i'm so i'm so curious in doing this video let's just get into it i don't want to talk much 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 as much so here we have the impeachment i'm not, I'm still not yet not yet over with how this what do we what, what what do we call these people in parliament? This MP screamed. And and uh, they take a look. Two hundred and eighty-one. Yes, guys, I'm not over. I'm not over yet. Mm -mm. This screams. Mm -mm. And I'm gonna let you all know. So we have here a list of some members of parliament who did not sign Gashagwa's impeachment. Motion. We have Babu Owino, Nindi Nyoro, Nindi Nyoro. Mm, I doubt. We have Gadoni, that name. We have Makali. We have Robert Benjamin. Robert Mbui. You saw. The, you saw. You saw how bold he was in my previous video that I did. Go check it out. And we also have Benjamin James. All these guys did not vote. You even have Peter Selassie of Mumias. You have this. This members of parliament who said no to sign in gashagwa's impeachment so out of these names you can, you can name them there are so many you can count them out of these names the ones who screamed you you, know, you now know who the ones who screamed you now know bro with the thing that i've said it's gonna we are getting into it don't don't worry stay make sure to stick up to the end of the video because you're gonna get some juice some well, let me just show you then we have here after the impeachment this is what mr regadi gashagwa tweeted jeremiah that we know her we know his wife is a pastor so he kind of knows how to write things religious stuff on social media and there's one thing like i kind of know okay we are getting into it so we have here jeremiah Rati verses 19 from them will come songs of thanksgiving and the sounds of rejoicing i will add to their numbers and they will be decreased i will bring them honor and they will not be disdained okay this is like a clap back have your first this lions five verse this is just four days ago this is after his impeachment give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in christ jesus let me tell you all politics never works well with religion stuff if you are in church just be in just never mix politics and religious stuff it never works guys if you if you no ma'am no ma'am that, that stuff doesn't they, they never work hand in hand well they never William Ruto. so we have here a few moments later after members of parliament impeached gashagua the dp the former we are now, we are now titled him as former let's listen to what he said <laughs> take a look at this mm -hmm. <laughs> Umenitendea kama mnyama 
umenitesa kama mtu hujui na mimi kwa rais wa Kenya sisi tumekupenda tumekusaidia tulikuchukua wewe mtoto ya serra Okay, that is him calling <laughs> all those names. He was in the bar. Alikuwa mtoto wa Serila, Hajibe ya Unga, Jibe ya Dini like all those names. We are not getting into that. We just wanted to see how he talked after the impeachment proving that he's now impeached. He can now talk. So, we are getting into today's business. This is I have started to believe this man, he said this in this 2022 about routers before elections utabiri umetimia. So, we have this like guys, I'm not going straight into it. I'm going to take you back. So, that's why I was telling you stick to the end of this video. I'm going to take you back to the prophecies that evangelist Ezekiel prophesied before the elections and after the election and ongoing we're going to take a look at them and how they have been fulfilled and now you're going to trust me when I'm telling you the impeachment of Gashagua is kind of reconnected to evangelist Ezekiel I'm not even lying guys take a look at this Let, listen to it very keenly and tell me if it never or it happened even vote anyway but you know the repercussion of that mm -mm. eruption and rebellion they will vote thinking that you've understood what they want and you want to do what they want because you've not understood what they want they will give you their votes yes they will vote for you thinking that you've understood what they want and it is true you've not understood what they want and once they vote guys i'm telling you again listen to this very keenly and you don't do what they want they will come for you absolutely so whoever is voted into power must realize this they will vote peacefully Yes, they will vote peacefully. These people, they will vote peacefully. But after voting, and you don't know what they want, they will come for you, you the leader. That one is is this this was before. Remember, this was before elections. He said they will vote for you. And you, if you don't understand what they want, they will come for you. And he was actually speaking directly towards the person who was to become the president of Kenya. Actually, I'm going to read this. This was before elections. So he was actually speaking direct. You know, like direct speech. They're going to come for you, the leader. Bro. Bro. It happened in uh, Algeria, uh -huh. Tunisia, Iraq when people rebel against the government so anybody who is campaigning campaign but remember problem is coming after election that is when problems will begin now they are looking for the solution who the people they are telling you something and you don't understand it so you are selling to them your policies they are not for your policies they have a policy they have what they want they know do you guys remember bottom up bottom up kwa hivyo bottom up ina maanisha alikuwa anatuinua ni huju pesa zimwagike achukue do you guys <laughs> do you guys remember bottom up do you guys remember bottom up you better go and listen to them because if you don't listen to those people the electorate those people who are voting for you they will vote peacefully i tell you these people are tired of fighting against each other they are very tired they won't fight even if you incite them they won't fight they have become one community they are no longer 40 something tribes they are one tribe called kenya because when the economy is bad it is bad to all of us Am I right? yeah yeah, yeah bro and that was before elections and tell me 
Tell me, did it not came to happen? Did it not happen? People came for Ruto. Like it happened. There was Mandamano finance bill. There was Mandamano. I, I don't know. Like Uchumi Mendaju. Mandamano was all over the country. Even right now, we had just Mandamano previously, the previous weeks with the Kebaso trend, whatever. There have been Mandamano. And we don't know if this impeachment it's over yet and we don't know who is going to be, to put, to be put in power we don't know if it might lead to another bah. Hmm. being a president is the hardest thing it's like bah. so that that was evangelist prophesizing this back then and tell me it, it never happened tell me we have had all kinds of mandamano, all kinds of campaigns, all kinds of chaos in the country, bruh. And remember the election, remember how peaceful they were and how at the bombers they elected, they released the name of the, the now president. Remember how peaceful it was? There was no chaos. In, bruh, there was no chaos. It was so peaceful. The Azimia party walked away and the Uda. UDM came in, U UDA, yeah, the UDA party came in and they made their speech. It was like really smooth, but after, tell me the country has never been in peace. Prove, give me a proof that we have peace. There has been economic chaos, like, bruh, it's not even tribal now, it's economic chaos, bruh. <laughs> It's not over yet. And this is a man of God who talked about it. That's why I'm telling you that even the... I'm, I'm going to repeat this because I, I want you to sit to the end. Even the impeachment of the DP is kind of related to this. It's so related to him. Like, bro, we have another prophecy. Pastor Ezekiel prophecy on Mandamano in Kenya. Pray for Kenya. Mandamano will go on for four years. Kenya must go back to God. Please, only prayers. Here we go again. Here we go again. So let's take a look at this. This is the prophecy on Mandamano. And remember, he said they will vote for you peacefully. And after that, they will come for you. And now here, this man again, this, not even this man, the, the, the man of God, evangelist, goes again and says, Mandamano, prophesied about Mandamano, bro. Nikisema, nikibeba hii. Last year, niliwambia, we are going to have elections. Peace. Mm -hmm. Like, he said, bro. He's... And nobody will look at his tribe. And I told you, the one you don't expect to win, will win. Hata usipo niambia ninajua it turned out to be true nobody expected the current president to win Sindio. people never ex let me see, let me tell you people never expected for president ruto current president to win the election because if you could watch during the campaigns ha, hey the odm the azimio party was like striving everyone was like bruh in no way the judah was gonna overtake this meal like even they had the the <laughs> even they had simba do you all remember they had simba baba nataka ni kuambie vijana wana kuamini sana nchi na kuamini sana Diamond Platinum, the most famous East African artist, performed in the Azimia campaign. Tell me, no, nobody thought of the Yuda party gonna take over, but. Bruh. <laughs> hey! Yes. Do you want to know what is going to happen? Do you want to know? With or without Mandamano. There is no change of power very soon. Nimewambia mimi sitaongea tena. Mandamano if we don't seek God, mandamano haitaisha. Sitaendelea for the next
did he say it or not yeah we have had finance bill madam do you all remember do you all remember the finance bill madam do you all remember how people were injured another madam i can't remember how it was the the hashtag but i remember the most crucial one the hashtag rejects finance bill we have this the cabasso era we have had a kind of mandamana it was not like huge but we have had it's chaos that is chaos in the country bro what are you talking about yes kama hatutarudi kwa mungu kanisa iache mikutano ya siasa irudi madhibauni kwa mungu maandamano hayataisha taifa hili for the next five years for the next for the next what five years bruh and we are not even the third year we are 2022 2023 2024 20 we are in the third year of ruto's regime and we already have the impeached we have one impeached bruh i don't know what what is wrong with the leadership of the curling jeans guys do you remember the moi era the government was overturned and now it's here we go again what is wrong like what is what is what is wrong with these people bro <sighs> another prophecy we're not, we're not, we're not done yet i'm gonna show you all the prophecies of evangelist ezekiel and if you're gonna believe it or not it has come to pass even if you say like this one is brah this countdown to we are on the third one finally pastor ezekiel prophecy towards rutogawa has come to pass another one brah it has come mm. <laughs> asubuhi tu kiuchumi nimewaambia for free kwa tv mtamlilia huyo mtazunguka that was the main thing that all of the central people could listen to it like a thousand times bro that was that bro that was the, one of the main things bro if you don't believe in the people of god you could even look for look for it in other politicians but this this was straight from the host bro straight like and he said they were on beer for free kwa tv this is why they took him to jail because like things were happening he was prophesying on things and they are happening right after prophecy after another prophecy after bro, this one now it has come to pass four days ago the government of kenya has impeached the deputy president and the deputy president is from the central region is the man from murima the murima people that is the central region very early in the morning very early i was happy about the the bottom when ruto i was happy when ruto won because i thought of the bottom up i thought of what else the I don't know the slogans i can't remember most of them but i remember the bottom up i was kind of happy kind of but i i i questioned the leadership of the central region and the rift valley like agikuyu and a kalenjin coming together bruh we all know what kalenjins do we all know if you could predict this like i don't know <laughs> Powerful prayers made by Pastor Evan Ezekiel in New Life Church, Mabweni, Mombasa, Kenya today uphold the government of Kenya. This man, like, I've been to churches, I've seen churches on television, but this is the only man, the only man of God who prays for the government, like, I, I don't know how I'm gonna put it. They, they others pray, but this is kind of different. It's kind of different. Like, a dedication time for prayers for the... In the name of Jesus, we prophesy blessing upon the government of Kenya, upon the president.
presidency, upon the judiciary, upon the cabinet, we prophesy, we prophesy blessings, 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 unity, love, no bloodshed, blessings. Economic no bloodshed. There wasn't before during the there was no no blessing we bless we bless we bless we bless bless this land even if you hate him you love him this man is a man sent by god and uh, hold up hold, hold on hold on there this this is a rally that was held in Kasarani just a few weeks. It was 8th of October, just a few weeks before the impeachment and the Kibaso era started, and which has led to another chaos in the country. So, take a look at this, like, brah. These are millions of Kenyans, all with Kenyan flags, praying for Kenya. Praying for Kenya, guys. Praying for Kenya. Take a look at this. Take a look. Bro, I was here. I won't lie. I was here. Take a look. I'm not lying. I was here. I was here. I'm not joking. I'm serious. I was here. I was in this crusade. It was in the Safari Rally grounds in Kasarani. I actually, let me tell you a little bit of a story. I actually went to Kasarani Stadium very early in the morning, thinking that the crusade would be held there. I had no notice it would be held in the in the Safari Rally Grand. So I went very early in the morning at the Kasarani Stadium, just to realize it was kind of rainy. It was just a cl cloudy morning, and uh, it was kind of a mess. So I realized that I I took another bike back to the safari rally grounds but that was a hell of confusion and i was here and this was the fifth day of it was the fourth kind of we prayed for the government we prayed for the nation of kenya look at everyone here holding the flags of kenya let me finish up. look at that Bro, have you seen that? These are millions of Kenya just praying. Like, you know the economy now. You all understand how the economy is up now. Like, how people are suffering. Like, bruh, they was about to pass the finance bill. Imagine if, <laughs> I don't know, we could be in hell now. Thank God it didn't work. Now, here, look at this. Look at this. Like, who is missing a flag? Like, everyone is carrying a flag. Take a look at that. Literally, everyone, each one of them. This this happened at the safari. Take a take a look at the, this. This these are millions of these are millions of Kenyans just here, like praying for Kenya, praying for the economy of Kenya, praying for the nation to revive the death. Remember the death of. Like those students, just it was high school students, or bruh, you don't remember that? Do you remember that, bruh? Like, this was our this crusade was not even for the prayer of individuals, it was a prayer for the nation. It was a prayer for the nation, guys. It was a prayer for the nation. You can see people are holding flags, you can see people are crowded. And if if I could just get a clip, this is actually uh, the bugger of this is a song. But if we could get a clip, the evangelist here was praying for the nation, guys. If you attended the crusade, go on TikTok, search, go on there, his YouTube channel search for the crusade and you will listen to his preaching he was and his prayer he was praying for the nation guys i'm not even like he was praying for the nation because why would people have flags of kenya if he wasn't praying for the nation why why people are holding your flags for the nation because he's praying for them look at how attendance people like people are even wearing their flags who are wearing clothes that are and remember this is day five people arriving at Kas kasarani Look at how people are flooding. 
people are looking for prayers the country is at stake like bra in nothing good happening in the country look at that bro look i'm telling you all right now kenya is stranded because how comes the president could not even wait for the two coming years for the two coming years to overturn the the government why why could he even wait and during his regime with uhuru kenyatta like uhuru kind of waited until the leadership regime was over just to step down the chaos to end like bra he didn't have to like like why i don't get this i don't get why people voted for this man i don't get it like he's the president we need to respect him he's the president but bro there's nothing good about kenya right now what, what is good about kenya what the economy is up people are nobody's having a job people are complaining gen z's are even striking like even the youth are noticing like we are not even in a good like bro in nothing good about kenya right now i'm telling y'all bro this is how so th at these gatherings this kasarani stadium this is when the president the evangelist ezekiel prayed for the nation and prayers you can never pray and it just just pray just to pray for no it's never that way if you pray there's something that happens so this prayer actually it went it went through the government you can now see the the deputy president is impeached because we kind of know the deputy president is kind of on religious side because his wife we all know she's a reverend so the prayers of both sides they are working that's why the nature of the president and the deputy could not sit in one sitting like it could not work because of prayers if you are doing the right thing through prayers and you're trying to do it with the wrong person who is not in prayers bro it, it won't work it won't, no it won't work that's why i'm telling you all this crusade actually had an impact on the government on the nation of kenya this crusade you're seeing right here is actually one of the causes and one of the reason of the impeachment of the government and remember evangelist pre predicted that the central people who rejected uhuru mgei kenyatta will cry they will whatever very early in the morning and you will cry you will come crying for the and it has happened they have impeached your president they have impeached your person your most they they kind of you know the central people are the most populated people in the area in the country so they kind of used let me let me just say this they kind of used the dp regarding shagwa to gain the votes the votes from the central people because you know the gikuyu people are the most populated in the area like in kenya we all know that in the country the gikuyu people the, have the huge population and if they could stand with the, like i don't want to go into that but uh, this is how the connection goes and he predicted it he, he prayed for the nation he prayed during his services he prayed during the crusade he came even to the state the like, the city the capital city of the of the country that is nairobi and he prayed it there that why that is why this crusade this is that is why the government is being parted because two things the evil side and the I not getting it. I not getting it. The God sides and the other side. It can never work, bro. It can I know I'm going to say this, but two different never. It never work. It will never. We have another prediction. I'm going to let you all see this and we'll come and say this again after the video if it came to pass. Let me let me let me just play this and listen to, to what he said about another another event that he he kind of is predicting this so imagine imagine ruto is the only one alive in this photo pastor ezekiel prophecies cooking i don't know if it has passed or it could. 
mchuu na mchua iko na namba yake na siwezi kumpigia hata chukua no 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 let me let me let me let me let me let me just slow back let me play this shit back Kenya, let's listen to it ngozi mwingine Kenya nimeambiwa anaenda kukufa mara mbili wow paka ninakaa nasikia uchungu na mjua iko na namba yake na siwezi kumpigia hata chukua tena haijamaliza wiki ngapi nikienda kitale nikaambiwa unajua huyu anaenda kufa na kutafanyika hivi na hivi na hivi bro wow, bro i'm scared man ni watu wawili peke yake ndio wanajua hiyo story probably though i kama yote lakini nataka that is another prophecy yo and you can't even see this so let's wait I hope it doesn't happen because it's death. Nobody loves death. But it's a prophecy and we all know his prophecies always never fail. They pass. So let's, let's just let the We are leaving that for God. What are we going to say? That is for God. Let's God pray. Let's God's plan work on its way because mm, we don't have we have nothing on that. And we also have let me, I was I was saying this I said this at the first if you can't if you don't trust men of god if you don't trust evangelist Ezekiel if you don't trust these prophets like prophet award evangelist Ezekiel if you don't trust these people sent by god bro you could even you could better listen to your fellow politicians that could be better listen to this G the former gov governor of what is it called Mombasa look at his predicament about the central and the impeachment of Gashagua the former DP listen to this baada ya hayati jomo kinyata mwenyezi mungu kumchukua mbele ya haki moi ya lipo ingia Mulingoja miaka mingapi mupate serikali ingine? Woo, 24 years, bro. 24 years, man. Miaka mingapi? 24, man. 24 years, eh? Yeah. Nataka ni waulize, munajua kwamba, vile ruto wa mepanga, lao wa kiingia hii serikali, njini watu wa mlima mutangoja miaka msini, munajua hivo? Munajua hivo? Na ntawambia mimi ni kwa nini? Kwa sababu Ruto amejipanga, jambo la kwanza aliyofanya alichukua muhalifu kama naibu wake. Ndio maana akiingia katika serikali mpango yake ilikuwa ni gashagwa afungwe alafu wachague mtu mwingine ambaye anayetaka na hatoki hapa mlimani, mjue hiyo. Na alikuwa amepanga kubadilisha katiba akae hapo, akae, akae, akae. <laughs> Bro. Bro. I'm shocked. So this guy knew what is going to happen before it happened and this was so far back. Bro, this is during campaigns, man. Bro. Can't believe this. You have you've had it. You I, I I'm going to replay a little bit of it. Let me just replay. Jambo la kwanza aliyofanya alichukua muhalifu kama naibu wake. Ndio maana akiingia katika serikali mpango yake ilikuwa ni gashagwa afungwe alafu wachague mtu mwingine ambaye anayetaka na hatoki hapa mlimani, mjue hiyo. Na alikuwa amepanga kubadilisha katiba <sighs> These people listened to this people i'm talking for you people from central you had this and you kind of assumed you assumed the thing you you guys assume things and you just try to go with the flow uhuru tried to tell you this is joho tried to tell you evangelist told you what listened bruh now 
We are waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting for who is going to be the president, the deputy president. We are waiting. Let's see if it will be someone from Lima. If it will be someone from Lima, we all know that's another 2.0 Gashagwa, another game we are being played. If it's not somebody from the central region, we all know it was a plan. We we'll all know it was a plan, bro. That's all I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, <laughs> this is unbelievable, incredible end. It's so, like, bro, I'm flabbergasted. I don't even have words to use on this video. Like, bro, let's listen. I have, I have a bonus video for you guys. Because I just scrolled. I made this video. This is a guy from Mulima, a guy from Central talking. I'm kind of, I want you to listen to this. Anakwambia wewe president wewe usituzie hiyo uoga uko nayo kazi yako tulikwambia ni kutanga tanga tu unakimbia kimbia hapa duniani unazunguka kama kaini alafu ukuja hapa kutuambia tukupea kura hakuna kura hakuna hiyo haiweza kaini how the skin read this bro kani tunataka kukwambia hivi umekuonea i think na tunajua vile unakuja hivi unajua hapa tumebakisha tu umebakisha tu miaka ya kupiga siasa usikuja hapa Hapa ground uwachana na ayo kabisa. Hakuna kura yako. Wow, this man. Hakuna sisi ya tuna kura ya mtu kama wewe. Ye, yeah, tumesikiza ground na tunajua. Kama kuna mtu wata kupea kura, sijui ni nani. Labda sijui, hata sijui kama bibi yako wata kupea kura wewe. Ye, yeah, wazabu kazi yako ni kutangatanga, kutangatanga, hata hauna time baka na familia yako. Bro is mad. Oh guys, bro is so mad. Hata bibi yake ata mpea kura imagine. And how did Kane come to this? Like, Kaini, <laughs> that is Kane. <laughs> okay, guys. So, what, what is your thought? Do you think, Pastor Ezekiel, like, not even think, do you now trust? Do you now believe? Like, if you don't believe in him, I, you have to be the problem. You, are, you have to be the problem. Because you have heard it from him. You have heard it from other politicians, like Joho. You have heard it from citizens, like, you have to be the problem so i hope you all guys liked this video i hope you enjoyed please remember to click the subscribe button and like this video and please make clips of it as we pass message and let people know as you post them on tiktok yes i will appreciate for that and thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye peace